hi everyone in this video i am going to show how to solve this equation 1 to 2 for x is equal to 2 or taking ln to both side we can write here ln of 1 to the power x is equal to ln of 2 or According to law of logarithm, we can write it as x ln of 1 is equal to ln of 2 or x times the value of ln of 1 is 0. So x times 0 is equal to ln of 2. x times 0 is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to ln of 2 so, attention here the value of ln of 2 is not equal to 0 so there is no real solution in this equation now try to find the complex solution of this equation we know e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta or substituting theta is equal to twice pi k it we can write here e to the power i times twice pi k is equal to cos twice pi k plus i sin twice pi k or but again we know cos n pi is equal to negative 1 to the power n or substituting n is equal to twice pi we can write cos twice n pi is equal to sorry cos twice pi k is equal to negative 1 to the power twice k n is equal to twice k so cos twice pi k is equal to 1 and sin n pi is equal to 0 substituting n is equal to 2k we will get sin twice pi k is equal to 0 now we can the value of sin twice pi k and uh, cos twice pi k so we can write here e to the power i times twice pi k is equal to cos twice pi k is equal to 1 plus i times sin twice pi k is equal to 0 or e to the power i times twice pi k is equal to 1 plus i times 0 is equal to 1. Now from our equation we know 1 to the power x is equal to 2. Substituting value of i e to the power i times twice pi k is equal to 1. So we can write here e to the power i times twice pi k whole to the power x is equal to 2 or e to the power i times twice pi k x is equal to 2 now taking ln to both side we can write here ln of e to the power i times twice pi k x is equal to ln of 2 The value of ln of e is 
1 so we can get i times twice pi kx times 1 is equal to l of 2 or if we multiplying both side by i we will get i times i that means i square times twice pi kx is equal to i times ln of 2 or i square is equal to negative 1 so here we can write negative twice pi kx is equal to i times ln of 2 or divided both side by negative twice pi k we can get x is equal to i times ln of 2 over negative twice pi k so the value of x is equal to i times ln of 2 over negative twice pi k here k is increaser and k is not equal to 0 thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye